Hey, welcome to blog tab 6 dorok In today's video, we are going to modify post meta in 2014 chart theme if you are using the default theme of WordPress 3.9. So, uh, this is the blog that we will be working with. And as you can see in the uh, home page, so this is my home page, and uh, under the post title, you see the date and you see the author and the leave common link. And we want to modify or to remove this author link as I promised in my um, latest video. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to add functions.php in our chart theme or modify it if you have uh, already. And this is the result of the first modification. So if I go to the post page, you see that I have the author name, but I, I cannot click it. So as you can see, I cannot click it because this is not a link. And the second one is we remove it uh, completely so you don't see the author name at all. So let's get started. Let me close the result pages and this is the site that we will work with. You will need FileZilla or um, edit it directly to your cPanel but in this video I'm using FileZilla or FTP client and if you are interested on using FileZilla you can check out my other tutorial about it. So let's open it. Log in to your um, WordPress installation where you want to work with and this is my site that I will work with and then inside the wp-content go there and then themes and uh, in my chart theme which is called my 2014 going to click that to open the files here and as you can see uh, I don't have functions.php at the moment but uh, in your case you might have already one so because I don't have one already, so I'm just going to right click it here somewhere in the white area and then create new file and then uh, type it as here functions.php and then hit OK. When, it's, when I create it, I select it and then right click it and then view or edit. And then it will open um, my text editor, my preferred text editor and uh, here we will go we're going to modify this so here in functions.php because i just created it's empty but you might have uh, some code uh, in this code so i'm just going to put in some uh, php block code here so so in your case you might have some code here okay that's okay just beneath this some code you're going to type in the comment um, and put it here uh, comments, for example, uh, code to remove the author of 2014 theme chart, for example, like this. Okay, but because now I don't have any code here, I just want to delete this. So just like that. So below this uh, common uh, code, we're going to add some codes. And if we go back to our site, let's go back to our site and let's log in. So here we go to appearance and then um, editor and then make sure here select them to edit we're going to look uh, at 2014. Don't worry we're not going to edit the parent theme but we're going to just take a look at the files. And here we're going to look at content and if we scroll down you will see that uh, entry meta which is the post meta uh, after the um, title, it shows the 2014 underscore post underscore on function. So we need to edit this. And to edit this, this code is inside um, ink folder in parent theme, but we cannot see it the, here, the folder. But we can go back to our filezilla and go to themes. And then under the themes, we're going to 2014 parent theme. And then uh, ink folder here, select it and double click it and then here we see that template dash text.php. If we're going to edit that view or edit, here we're going to look on um, post tet underscore on. As you can see this is the functions that uh, we can actually override in our 2014 chart theme. So what we're going to do is copy all of this, copy and close this and back to our functions.php in chart theme and under the comment uh, area here we're going to paste that code and then here we're going to modify some stuff so I'm going to on uh, 
view wrap here in my text editor. So this code is actually displaying the um, author here. So let's go back to our site again. Displaying this author here. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove it. So first we're going to remove it. Now to remove it, we're going to delete these two lines. So line 19 and line 20, delete this completely and then uh, delete this uh, comma here. Okay, and then here above that um, the print functions here, we're going to remove the span um, between the single quote, before the single quote, select it and then uh, after the closing span here, the time here, we're going to close it, to delete it I mean, sorry, and then make sure that this is the code here between the single quote and then hit save. So I'm going to hit save or you go to file and then save and then go back to file still again and upload it or update it. So now if we go back to our my 2014 theme again, this is the function .php that we edited in our text editor and then now we go to our browser again and refresh this, refresh our browser and sure enough now the um, author is gone because we just modify it and remove it completely. But what about if you want to still display the um, author name but it's not clickable so people cannot click this. So what we can do is go back to our um, text editor again. Here we're going to click on edit and undo here, undo left delete or you have a, comment, a keyboard shortcut for Mac, Command and C so let's hit Command and Z and then it will display uh, back the, com the codes that we've just deleted and also back again and then Command and Z again to display uh, back the code again. So display uh, Command and Z two times and it will bring back this one and the comma as well that we've just deleted. Now we need to modify this um, span class by line, by line. So what we're going to do is um, going to I'm going to resize my window so you can see better. Here we're going to delete this um, A class URL and so forth. So we're going to delete this A class until the person and then five sign here, delete this and also delete this closing attack and then we're going to hit save, command and S or you go to file and save there on the top. So once we've done that, we're going to um, go to file select like, and to update the file. So now we go back when it says directory listing successful, we go back to our Chrome and refresh this. And as you can see, we still can see the author, but it's it's not clickable. So it's different than other link here. It's not clickable. So that's the this uh, modifying code uh, does. So that's all guys for today and thank you so much for watching and please um, like this video if it, w it was useful for you and I will be really appreciating it. So take care of yourself and see you in the next video. Goodbye!